Yo, welcome to Sports Life and Hip Hop. Once again, as usual, you got the usual crew. You got my man Zeke. You got the one and only Ricky Schwee. And I'm Channel 7. Um, welcome to the show, uh, as usual. Um, first of all, let me send a shout out to uh, DJ Real One. Uh, Cash 22, man, for the dope shirt, man. Head Knock Records, man. I see how y'all get out, man. Um, we got, uh, I guess they got a new project coming out. Check it out at, uh, what's this, um, headknockrecords.bandcamp.com. At Bandcamp, Head Knock Records, man. They got some dope producers. They got the dopest beats, man. Dre Cobbs, myself, we got we got a lot of work with them. Um, thanks for the shirt, man. It's just fly, man. I fuck with y'all. Um, still waiting on my shirt from your mans, though, Rick. Um, it's all, um, yo, <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The thirst is real. Yeah, yeah. I'm thirsty as well. Give me a shirt. Trust my grind, I man. I don't he, think he sent it on the express overnight. Yeah, man. You're <laughs> trust, trust my grind. Got, he, got, he got you covered, man. He got you covered. Now it's really from a humble angle, man. Like I really, I wanna, yeah, I'm, I'm honored that he wanna, that he wants us to rock his shit, man. I fuck with him, man. Real good guy. Fuck with us. Fuck with him. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, sports life and hip hop once again. What's on the docket, man? What's on your bird, man? Hey, so like if. if uh, if we roll up, and this is a horrible start off, but fuck it. <laughs> hey, if we, if, we go, if we go to the drive through at Popeye's, can, can I order the uh, Meg Stallion Hottie Thotty uh, <laughs> meal plan? Can I, can I get that? Like, yo. So if me and you, like, I can order that. Like, like man, what are we going to eat? And I can order the Hottie Thotty. What is it called? So it's you, let's, hold on, right. hold on, hold on. Let's take a step back, man. Before we even order, <laughs> first of all, is it okay? For, can you just fucking order? Do I have to yell across you to put up my fucking order? You're right there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Mike, you don't know about that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This like, guy. Drive to. I'm not ordering your food for you, man. You're yeah. right by Zeke. the way. Zeke, what, yeah. what, 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 what nonsense is this, man? I already read one album. Thank you, thank you. You a man. Hold on, hold on, Mike. Hey, Mike, Mike. Mike. So, so a nigga hollering across your chest into, into the into the, no, the, the, the no, speaker. He's taking it in my ear. He's like, yeah, let me get that number three. <laughs> no, I'm not. Hey, I gotta go to the to the mic. Well, I got, man, just order the food, man. man. Come on, man. I ain't doing. Why well, I gotta whisper? Why well, I gotta whisper in your ear, man? Why well, don't say, hey, let me get a number four with a coat. Why, why you can't do it? You right there. Why well, I gotta? Right I you're, not, you're not that far. <laughs> so, why so the food for you, you and yo. So we, no. so you out with the lady? Hold on, hold on, Rick. So you out? Traversy. I'm a passenger seat. I can't just say my. I'm gonna have to. Hey, yo, I want. <laughs> do I it. Leave First over. of all, and you, your boy should carry. You shouldn't have so to. I ain't gonna just, lean yeah, all over. Yo, my... let me get the number three and the speaker over there. I'm saying you're like, yo, <laughs> let me get the number three and that's you it. You can order it though. No, right why? Why am I order? Because then, what if you don't know what you want to order? What if you forget? Then I gotta go back and forth. Nah, no, man, just order your food, man. man. Oh, man. No. this is bizarre. You realize this, right? This is bizarre behavior, no, man. Not. So, I disagree with me. <laughs> No, so so they, they, they they go, go back into the in, into memory lane. We went to mm -hmm. we actually went to Popeyes, Joe and I. And was driving. Uh I was driving. You I were, was, Ricky, Ricky was. was. So Joe was like, hey man, let me get a number uh three. I, I I don't know. It was like a number three. It was like a uh you know, two two breasts, one thigh uh, meal or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right. I was like, nah, man. You got to order your own shit. Wow. I'm like, like, what? I'm like, dude, I'm not ordering your food for you. I do. I'm looking at my phone. I finished. I stopped thinking about it. I said, let me get yeah, number three. I'm looking at my phone. This nigga like, like, like what? 
I'm not doing that. You in the driver's seat, yo. Let me get number three. And hey, what you want? Oh, number two. Oh, let me also get number two. No. What's wrong with that? No, no, no. no. <laughs> you can order so, your food. Wow. So if we go, so if we go through like one of them old school checker joints, where it, where it might be on my side. You you ever been to the checker? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Side? Right through, yeah. I don't want niggas hollering across me. Just tell me what you want, B. Right. Like, Fuck, man. Just, just, uh, I got I you. Feel, I don't feel like, hey, man, can you please give me a number You one? ain't got to say that. <laughs> can you please? I didn't. Man, I didn't. I didn't. Make, it, make it light ice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. If you're riding with a hey, look. If you're riding with a with a with a with a with a, with a, with a nigga that's pussy, and I'm sorry, that's on you. That he got a whisper, he got a whisper in your ear. I'm, I'm gonna say, look, give me a double three with a shake, and look at my phone, man. <laughs> oh, Let me also get number two. So, so shake. we we we've gone we we've gone to plenty of drive-throughs. Burger King, whatever. I never say. Z, you know what I'm saying? Let me get a number eight or something. I always go across you. Not go across physically. I'll just say, yo, let me get a number eight. That's it. That's it. I mean, it's, it's not that hard. What's well, a big deal if I if the driver orders. It is. Like, why do, why do I have to play so hard if I'm the driver? Because you, you have to because you're the driver. Nah, man. It's your responsibility. I guess, I guess I'm yeah. hands on this. <laughs> this All right, so, so if we go to an ATM, I'm, I got to reach across you. Mm-hmm. So if we go to an ATM, I right, gotta right, reach right, across you. No, no, you gotta get out. You gotta get out. Gotta get out. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you. You gotta get the fuck you gotta out. Go to the, the unless, ATM, unless you want to give me your code. Unless you want to give me the ATM code. <laughs> fine. Cool. Whatever. Yeah, I'll take it. But well, that's I, a that's, bad example. That's there's a privacy matter there. That's a, that's different. That's a no, bad example. You but, gotta get out. Like my old That's different. There's a privacy issue there. And, Right, exactly. That's, that was a bad example. Okay, I'm just saying. Good. But anyway, all right. So, so that's I guess we there's no progress there. So now we at uh, so the hottie. Now we back to your the hottie thotty. Oh, so we. I'm can, not. You know, I guess I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm not. I'm not saying the words hottie thotty. I'm not it, asking. I think I'm butchering. It. I'm sorry. I think it's. I think it's, it's just, just called hottie sauce. It's called hottie sauce. Mixed stallion hottie sauce. I think if you just, I think you say hottie sauce, they'll know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> tenders. You go there with some tenders on a Popeye's nugget. What kind of sauce do you want? <laughs> right, let me get the hottie sauce. <laughs> and I can't see the dude. How do, how do you not, if you're working there, how do you not chuckle? How do you not smirk? <laughs> 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 let, let me get the, uh, that, that new Meg sauce. That Even that's hey, <laughs> and oh, you pull up like this. A phone, a a phone them with the hottie toddy sauce. A phone them with the toddy sauce. I don't think it's not hottie toddy. I think it's just called hottie. I think sauce. it's just. I think it's hottie sauce. My bad, my my fault. But he wants the hottie sauce. Either way, man. <laughs> I'm not saying the hottie sauce, man. Look <laughs> out of here. Damn. You get your bag, you go through your bag, it ain't in there. <laughs> hey, now let me ask you this. Yo, let me ask you this. You got one hottie sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, 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 hey. Does the supervisor get to snapping? Y'all forgot his hottie. <laughs> Y'all forgot his right. hottie sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but look, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Okay. All right, so what if, all right, what if Popeyes took it a step further and said, well, if I say you got a meal, and you know what I'm saying, it's including the, the thotty sauce. Or was it the hottie sauce or thotty sauce? Hottie sauce. Hottie sauce. Yeah. The hottie sauce. And they say, you get a free meal if you if you get out and display your best twerk. <laughs> <laughs> For a free meal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, it's three niggas in the car. Y'all said 30 bucks. You ain't going to work for 30? No. All right. All right. <laughs> Boy, I don't know, man. Hands might be on the knees. Hands might be on the knees. I don't know. 
<laughs> Jim. Yo, but uh, speaking of uh, doing anything for money, you <laughs> see, uh, you see, Benny Siegel turned down Kanye for fifty mil. Idiot. Is he? Yes, one hundred percent. I'm not gonna say anything. Even if he's rich and on top, go ahead. But he no, go ahead, Z. It's free money. Yeah. He ain't got to do nothing for it. But he said he want to work for his. He he a hustler. He wanted to work. Once I saw the full video, I was like, okay, I understand. But it wouldn't be me. That is but the he epitome. Already got, he already got money though, Joe. He got fifty million. That's the epitome of foolish pride, man. Like, come on, man. <laughs> Even rich pride. He, even rich people uh, for fifty mil. I don't care if he's on top. I don't care if this was two thousand three Zeke. Uh, two thousand three Zeke. I don't care if this is two thousand three Beanie. You know what I'm saying? Like fifty mil. Can he? But he's saying he want to work for his. That's all he was saying. He he's he already fine. worked. He gave he gave Kanye a trademark, a brand. Yeah. Easy. He already worked. Niggas get when, paid for less. But he came at him on the humble and said, "Yo, can you just like." It could be stocks. It could be, yo, give me, you know, work work this out or show me how you did this. That's say you wanted to get together on some fast. Yeah, on some business like shit. Like I can respect that. What, what I can respect it. I wouldn't do it. I respect I think it. Yeah, hey. Me being who I am now, I would take it now. But if I was in the <laughs> industry, like he's been like he's been around, you know, Hove, he's been around Jay, he's been around Puffy, he's been around a lot of cats. Uh, Steve Rifkin. He's been a lot of cat around cats that got money. Mm -hmm. So he's been, Mars been sending them jewels. You know what I'm saying? So like, he's around notables that could help him out. So 50, 50 million is still 50 million to Benny Siegel. 50 million ain't 50 million to Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? 50 million is 50 million to Benny Siegel. Another question. If it was Jay that came up with the name Yeezy. And Jay was like, yo, I, I owe Jay 50 million. You think Jay would take it? Jay being the Jay that he is now. He would be like, I, nah. I can't. <coughs> probably not. It. Probably not. That's, That's apples and oranges. That's Jay-Z and Benny Siegel. Is Benny broke, bro? He ain't not broke, is he? I don't think, I don't think he, he broke, bro. Broke. But he ain't rich. He ain't, he ain't, I bet you he ain't got the money he had when he was. When Jay said he came up, he pulled up in a Bentley. And the lady no, Bentley... No, no, no. He ain't 2003, ben, uh, Benny. I don't think he definitely ain't punching the clock. He ain't broke. He ain't JJ Walker. <laughs> nah, he ain't, he ain't JJ Walker. No. Nah. Jimmy Walker. He ain't Jimmy Walker. Nah, nah. I'm sure he's. He not Mr. Good. T. He got money. You could do Beans can still tour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can right. he? Wow. Oh, cool out. <laughs> I mean, yeah. under no I'm saying under normal circumstances. Yeah, the nigga can't even barely talk. He can't, how can he, he ain't gonna hold the whole concert? Oh, performing, but I don't think he's still been, no, on, he's been on stage. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying under normal comp circumstances, but then he he, he, stra he has strained vocal cords. Like the nigga, I can't go hold the whole show. Auto tune. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If he's still capable of rapping, yeah, you know, he could. Dude, they could. They could tweak it. He could. That's he, what I said. I would go to a beanie show. I'm not paying top. Dollar. I'm not yeah. going to. That was my next. I'm not one. going to. How much does beanie command at a show? Man, that nigga get about about a zip. He will come through for for an ounce. <laughs> cool. He come through for an ounce and for an ounce and fifteen G's. For an ounce and ounce and fifteen G's, you pay for his hotel beanie there. And it, hotel or airfare? Twenty grand. That's not yeah, bad. That's that's twenty. It's twenty G's. That's not bad. A lot of rappers can't even get that. Think about it. that's Benny Siegel from the Rock. You know, said the back street bully. Now he, now he, Broad, Broad Street bully. The Broad Street bully. Now he old boy from 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 uh, Gangsta. Yo, let me hold like your cool. Let me hold like fifty G's, man. You know, what I'm <laughs> So Benny could be the headliner with opening acts. He come on last. Hell, it depends on who it is. Wait, what were you saying, Joe? He yeah. can't. If it's little TJ or some shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can, you know, he can close out for him. Yeah, multiple, multiple hits. 
He can't rap anymore. His voice is fucked up. Everybody knows that. The crowd well, is the well, crowd I'm saying, is I'm saying if he if he's capable of rapping, can he okay. be, can he be the headliner at the? Uh, are you mean? Or are you mean under normal circumstances? Yeah, yeah. Oh uh, hell yeah! I mean, he wouldn't even fit in sub T. That wouldn't even be a thought. Like he wouldn't even. And you. He'd kick. He'd pack out the metro. He yeah. He'd pack out the metro. Some kind of the Griselda type shit. You know what I'm saying? Small. I ain't been there in a while. I forget. Huh. I ain't been there. I'm figuring they're the same size. What sub T? Sub T and Metro. I'm thinking they're the same. Oh, size. no, no, no. Sub T is is a straight. That's straight. And you got barely got enough room for your backpack in there. We saw Ray and Ghost. Where was it? Metro. That was Metro. That was that was a Metro. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You could definitely feel that. Feel yeah. What about the one? Yeah. With, what about the spot we saw. Uh. Uh. Um. Griselda. Was we were standing theater? up. Yeah, it was a the theater. Congress. Yeah, that Congress. Congress. Nah, that one. That was a. Uh, that was a up north joint. Um, I f- I forgot the name. That wasn't the Congress though. Was it? He, he wasn't the Congress, was it? Right. Yeah, he, he, I think he could do. I mean, under normal circumstances, yes. I mean, like that might even be too small for. If he fucked his career up, point blank, man. What he got shot in the? We got shot in the lungs, right? It punctured his lung, right? No, he didn't shoot him. Right? <laughs> Why he fuck huh? himself? He didn't shoot himself. I mean, he was in some. I'm pretty well, yeah, sure on the street, being a, yeah, he's yeah. on some street shit. You know what I'm mean? saying? How you a multimillionaire doing your thing, top of your game? You still you out here just talking shit with the goons? Yeah, that's true. Mm, no comment. I'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna say that's uh, you know, his fault. Beans, or beans always kept one foot in the street. Yeah, a lot of them do. Some yeah. of them do. So. I'm saying this to his, to his, you know, what I'm saying his deficit. You know, what I'm saying his, to his downfall. Yeah, that Jay, was Jay, Jay. Say it again. That was always the issue with beans. He's one foot in the streets. Right. Jay always say he's trying to pull him out of there. Mm-hmm. So, first of all, the fact that Ye even offered him fifty mil is kind of that was kind of dope. Yeah. Yeah. Super dope. Yeah, it was a crazy flex too. <laughs> right. <He> just, <laughs> yo, I, oh, man, I've been trying to give him this money. Yeah, he said, like it's five dollars. <laughs> right, right, right. See, it's here. <laughs> okay, so what is there an amount that 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 he should have taken? Like, if it's if he would say, "Man, I got a hundred k for you," <laughs> like, is that like I can see him saying, "Oh, okay, sure, whatever." So you think he, that was too much for him to take? Yeah, I think so. You don't I think the amount was too high? Like, I think, like, the amount, it was the amount. Like, if he would have said, like, man, I got a million for you, I'm pretty sure Beans, he would have said the same thing. But I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure he would have took the mill and then said, yo, give me some jewels and we can work on business. But 50 mil, when someone says that, like Joe says, and y'all both have said that Kanye is a... Uh, Say things, you know what I'm saying? Like he says things for a reason. Mm-hmm. Like what made you come? First of all, what made you come with 50 mil? And then like it is a flex, you know what I'm saying? Like and here, whatever. That's what I was gonna and say. I wouldn't take it. Like beans is like me, kind of. It's like a scoff. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, like, that, I would, yeah. 50, man. Like yeah, I think I'm billionaire, man. Take this. Yeah, shit. I will agree with that. Man. I will agree with that. Like if he was gonna give it to him, go ahead, go ahead. No, go ahead. I didn't. It was you no know, the delay. Go ahead. I, it was, uh, I was gonna say, as a man, you kind of like he's scoffing at the fact that he want to give me fifty mil. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'll take. Bad part about it is, if it was behind quote, closed doors, I would probably take it. But like, <laughs> Jay put it out on. He put, it out, he put it on Front Street. Like he was like, man, I got him some money or whatever, waiting on him. And like when we get, you know what I'm saying? When, like when we meet up, it's only between us, and we gonna discuss hash it out. That's cool. Yay put it out there for for everyone to know. It's kind of like a like are you kind of big up big up yourself? I, I mean, that's what I was gonna say. I will agree that you know what I'm saying. He didn't have to be so public with it. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that part. <clears throat> Maybe that's but, why I turned them off to it. Yep. But, but you know what I'm saying? Thank you. Go ahead, Joe. My bad. Yeah. But I mean, I just would I would have took it though. I would have been like, yo. 
like, all right, let's 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 meet up. Let's let's have dinner, you know what I'm saying? Run me that check, but I don't want no cameras. No, let's, you my man. Oh, yeah. Like, I remember when you was doing The Reason, when you made that beat for The Reason, and, and you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and, and wait, what, what, what beat was that? Uh, The Truth, right? right. Yeah, he was on both yeah. of them. Yeah, on both of them. The, 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 I forgot the song, though, the single, when they, uh, when they was on the bridge and all the people and shit and was in the street. Uh, that was his hit, though, what Ye did. Anyway, I'm like, all right, man, I appreciate that, man. I don't want all that. You my man's from back then, man. Let's have dinner. Let's chop it up. You know, as men, you can hit me with that check, but, you know what I'm saying, without all the fanfare. So I agree with you on that, yeah. That's why... If but end of the day, I'm still taking it. You know, goddamn this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but that, like you, like we've always discussed, that pride is a motherfucker. So, like, you take that money, it comes with something. It's gonna come with TMZ. It's gonna come with the fan fans. It's gonna come with people harassing them. Have yeah. to. But people gonna ask, like, oh, so you took that money? You know what I'm saying? And beans. You know what I'm no saying? Comment. Like, <laughs> Dog, no, fifty mil. Know. Fifty mil is not generational wealth, but it's a couple generations. It's at least a, it's a generation after you. Shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You see yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not turning down fifty mil, even though it comes from a place that's not sincere or authentic. Yes. Not authentic. You 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 wanna you wanna be on some fuck shit and give me fifty mil at the end of the day? I got fifty mil. Like, all right, whatever. I'm not, I'm not saying that like it wasn't genuine. It just seemed. It just seemed brodacious. It just seemed flamboyant entertainment. You know it definitely saying? was. But that it was. was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you taking 50, I mean, you taking it even if it, if I'm throwing it in your face? I'm going to flip it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 Throwing it in Hell yeah. Face. I mean, did he have to put a number out? Couldn't so he he could have just been like, yo, I own some, some bread. He could have like, yeah, but I But then when someone said, like, like I think Dory asked, like, how much? Or someone, I don't know if it was Dory or somebody else, but he actually gave a number. It's kind of like, yeah. He could have he kept the number. To yeah, him. if he would have kept a number to himself. Yo, I own money. He came up with easy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's my it. Brand. That's it. I can see that. That's it. But putting a number out. Look, Beanie Siegel net worth. Beanie Siegel is an American rapper who has a net worth of $100,000. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> listen to me. Listen to me. I'm taking that 50 mil. Fuck I that! I didn't say you should. I I don't think it's I don't think it's I don't think both either way is bad. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm foolish pride, bro. Is it foolish? like now, now? If he jags it, if he takes it and jags it, yes, you know what I'm saying. But his reasoning for not taking it is very is very uh, noble. School shit. Old school shit. He says, "Show me, like, I don't want the fifty mil. Like, show me how to fish. I want to work. Yeah, I want to work, work with you. It. Let me. Yeah, I want to work for the shit. And that's admirable. Yeah, it is. That's very complimentary. It's admirable. Foolish at the same time. No, <laughs> isn't that a contradictory statement? Foolish and admirable at the same time. I'm. I wonder if it, uh, do, his kids they got everything they want. He's yeah, sitting, are, they, are, they in, are they in the best schools? But yeah, he's I doubt, but he's saying I want to work for it. He's not saying no, I don't want it at all. He's saying show me. But show I'm me saying I'm saying Ye, I'm saying <laughs> Ye, I'm saying Ye ain't saying here, here's fifty mil, you broke. Ye saying, damn, bro, you gave me a brand. I'm I'm probably yeah, yeah. who I am because of, you, of something you did. He already did the work. You know what I'm saying? Off of some off of his genius, off of his fly shit. I'm gonna call you Yeezy. You know what I'm saying? Like he said in the interview, like, you know what I'm saying? He had come around and he didn't look cool in the, in the studio. So he had called him something cool, like, like Yeezy, you know what I'm saying? So give him a little credibility. So he made him fly, you know what I'm saying? He gave Kanye credibility at a monk's in a circle that he wouldn't have it. He already did the work, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just paying him back. Okay. I, like I said, I don't see, unlike the, the, the thotty sauce, I don't see any wrong wrong answer in this like <laughs> both sides like you know what i'm saying like both sides make sense so you know no 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 doubt. No, doubt. no argument there mm -hmm. so let me actually let me ask you this man um i'm gonna go i'm gonna go here man like you know what i'm saying we men 
So and yeah, you know what I'm saying. So a thousand, a thousand listeners, like, uh, let me. I feel like I gotta, you know, what I'm saying, give a disclaimer. Like I'm, I'm talking to y'all like y'all not here. Like these are my friends. I talk about shit that's personal, man. Like y'all ever beat y'all shit to the point where you, y'all shit? Hey, oh, oh, oh. Yo, I'm at. Hey. I'm on a, listen, listen, listen to me. Listen, peep me out, man. I'm on a, I'm on a strike right now. I'm, I am not. I'm on a masturbation strike. I'm not beating my joint. I'm on. I'm on a nice two day streak right now, and I'm going for two days. That's a streak. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> I beat my shit the other day so much that it fucking hurts. I, and you know I'm not a Vaseline guy. So it really. <laughs> How do we know he's not a Vaseline guy? How do I don't know that. I don't know I'm, that. Nigga, I'm just saying. Up. I didn't say. Mean? I don't know you're a Vaseline guy. I, I didn't say you know. I didn't say you know. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm not. Well, let me take the you know out. I'm not a Vaseline guy, so that shit got raw real quick. So now I'm. I, so I even. I was like, damn, this shit hurt. And but I had a. I had a, like a bored moment. I had a bored moment. I was like, damn, I should get one off real quick. You know what I'm saying? And I, I got the Vaseline just because it was hurting. I was like, maybe that'll help. But it didn't. <laughs> it only hurt more. But I had to finish. I had to finish off. But the thing is, what is the question, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, what's the longest? I'm saying I'm, I'm on a. I'm on a. I'm on a like a strike right now. Like, have y'all ever gone so crazy with it? Like, all right, so my, I'm solo right now. My family's coming, and the only reason this is what it is is such a craze right now is because I'm solo. My family ain't here. I can't wait for them to get here, so I have I, I, my time will be occupied, and there'll be nothing for me to like. It's fucking unreal, man. Like uh, anytime, huh? No idle time. Idle time is killing me, man. I'm killing myself. What you call it, uh, <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo? So, so <laughs> I can't. I don't even know how to ask this. <laughs> what? So you, you. You knowingly don't beat your meat with lotion or Vaseline. You just go. I mean, since, yo, it's, this is like a good, this is what I'm 44. This is like a 30 year process, bro. I've never had, I've never been a Vaseline, never been a guy. Yo, I just go at it, man. I just, you know what I'm saying? I've never been that guy, man. <laughs> I would say, I just never, you know what I'm saying? What's up? <laughs> so What's the the question is how long is, have you gone without beating your beating your meatloaf? Yeah. What's the longest y'all have gone without beating your joint? And, and this and and, the, and I'm not talking fucking though, because that changes everything. When you when you're in them hot streaks, when you're saying when you're in the lady, or when you were single and you had bitches left and right, you was fucking a lot. I'm talking about during a dry spell. Because when we fucking, of course you ain't beating your joint. You fucking. But I'm saying, like, a dirty dry spell, how's it the longest you've gone without beating your joint? That's probably like a month. Yeah, I, I, I would definitely. I don't know if it's been two months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking I, back. Over under is probably under two months. <laughs> I definitely say three weeks. It's been a pay period. <laughs> Hell no! Big baby, go eat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think I've gone a month since I've been twelve. Since I've gone a month, dog. Uh, wow! You, I mean, literally, not like. Think okay. about the stats. Yeah, so you you do you do you need a um the porn hub joint or you just go off memory? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> nah, hey, I got a routine. You hey <laughs> yo <laughs> Hey, I got I don't know if I'm incriminating myself with this shit. I don't give a fuck, man. I thought yo yo, y'all my friends, I thousands I got thousands and thousands of friends. Yo. I got FMLA because 
my fucking forearm. I got a sharp pain down my forearm. Yo. And it could be attributed to the bags. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't know. Because that same motion that I make, my shit was paining me, man. And, and going back to your Pornhub question, my, you know what I'm saying, my, my, my setup, you know what I'm saying, phone left hand. And you know what I'm saying, it was hurting so bad, I had to go right left, and that was terrible. <laughs> left hand was whack. Yo, I, I can't go to my left, man. If the, <laughs> the scout reporter, he, he can't go to his left. <laughs> you can't go left, who? This is not true. I can dab and shoot a, <laughs> I can dab and shoot a jump shot left handed. What did you, what did you tell the doctor? Did you tell him it was from the bags or for something else? <laughs> I mean, I definitely told. Come on, man. You think I'm a, I wouldn't have got that from LA. But no, I really think it was from a mixture of the bags and 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 you know. <laughs> but. Yeah, this shit is wild. I'm beginning to your point, your your question. Yeah, I definitely got out of point. If it, like if yeah, I can't. I can go off. Bank. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Nah. Point is corrupted. It's definitely corrupted me, man. Real nah, talk, nah. man. Look at the picture either, like they do in the movies. Y'all, y'all did that as a kid, and then you 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 didn't go into J.C. Penney lingerie lingerie. No, oh. as but this, as a kid, shit, I used to go in the encyclopedia. And look up. I used to look up the word. I used to look up the word "new," like in Wait, encyclopedia. What? I used to work. I used to look up the word "nude" in encyclopedia, and they have an example, and they had a chick, oh. some, a, a nice buxom, a nice buxom chick, like she'd be covered like this. That was enough, right? Back as a kid, though, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what the hell? <laughs> 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 wow. Yo. Michael <laughs> Peter Botanica, be shit. You look up sculptures, Greek sculptures, all that shit. I, as a kid, I used to get off on all that shit. Be. So, so y'all, y'all had the whole set, the full set. Hell yeah, blue with the gold binder. Hell yeah, I used to. <laughs> hell yeah. The door, door to door salesman got y'all. I don't know if it's a door to door salesman, but back then, remember, there was no internet. You know what I'm saying? The parents thought this was a, this is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Like. It was. That was the internet shit. I think That's how you got. got our, I think when we got ours, internet was like just starting to bubble. And my dad told my mom, like, nah, I don't get that. You know, internet's going to take off. And she got it. Really? <laughs> that's crazy. That's, got, that shows I. We got the door to salesman, though. He came out, hey, you want to buy the encyclopedia set? <laughs> like, that was the hustle back then. I swear to God, man. I, I'm like, man. I might just shoot myself. That was my life. So when I woke up and <laughs> I had to I had to kiss my wife and go do man. <laughs> Back then, they was probably selling them like crazy though. There wasn't no internet really like that. No. Nah. But I mean, once you once you sell it, I mean, like they, it's not like they coming back. And we couldn't if get you, rid of nothing either. If once you they, lost a letter. If, yeah. if you lost a letter, you was just missing that letter. Well, you wasn't ordering the whole set. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, so do you remember the first time, like as an adolescent, you did some uh, inappropriate shit? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you 12, 13, 11, and you like. Careful, you know, Rick. <laughs> careful. <laughs> you going, you careful. You going down a dark road, B. <laughs> hey, yeah. <laughs> was that? Was that? Was that? Do you remember? I remember, yo. When I say inappropriate, I mean like, yo, like, like when 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 girls they turn eleven. I'm talking about we eleven. <laughs> we eleven now. We okay, now. right? Of course, of course, right. of course. Yeah. <laughs> we're 11, we're, we're adolescent, we're in the same age, but do you ever remember the first time or the first chick that kind of like, like, and it got you, y'all remember the first chick that got you a boner or like, man, you see shorty in class or anything like that? That's what I'm coming at. 
for me, it was always older women, like teachers and uh, <laughs> yeah, like real talk. I swear to God, dog. Like Miss, I remember Miss Tittle. She had the fucking Audi. I remember the red Audi. This is Tittle. Sixth grade. <laughs> Sixth grade at Dawes High School, Mrs. Tittle. She so, had the biggest fucking titties, B. Oh my God. What's her name, What's her name man? What I got? Miss Tittle. Miss Tittle, and she had big titties. <laughs> Miss Tittle with the big titties, man. For real, man. No. Like, it was a. Oh my God, dog. She had a gap in her. T oh my God. I remember her to like, like yesterday. <laughs> what was y'all's, though? What was y'all? Just till around like fifth, sixth grade, but before that, I was. <laughs> it out, I, man, I, was, I was kissing a chick down my block in, in kindergarten with the tongue. Didn't, didn't you know how to read cursive in kindergarten? I did a lot in kindergarten. Yeah. Uh, mine, mine was it was a, a seventh grade. No. She was my fourth grade teacher, but I always, you know, I was attracted to her. Her name was Miss Corvo. But then she got okay. married. Her name was Miss Jennings. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay. I thought yeah. you said Miss Cornhole. Miss Corvo. Miss Corvo. C O R P O. And then she went to Miss Jennings. Now I remember this, this black dude. She married a black dude. He was driving like a Nissan. What's the sports joint? <laughs> NXX, NSX or some shit. Anyway, he had a sports car. I, I'll never forget. It's like, man, Miss Corvo, nice, man. But yeah, that, that was my crush. And I, I definitely, uh, shout out to Miss Corvo, a.k.a. Miss Jennings. Oh, I, had, I had a few teachers I had a crush on. Miss Brown, at Ben Lincoln, uh, sixth grade. High school, there was a few. Miss Miss Mighty, my Spanish teacher. <laughs> hey, why is the Spanish Ms. teacher? Mighty. Yeah. Miss Mighty? She's black. Mighty? Yeah. How you spell that? Yeah, like Mighty Mouse, M I G H T Y. Oh, wow. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, was she my Spanish teacher? Spanish teachers do be fly. I think she know. was. I think she was my Spanish teacher. Ooh, I forgot my Spanish She was one of my teachers, Miss Mighty. She was She was banging. She all the dudes on She yeah. knew it. In, 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 in the I don't remember her first name, though. I remember that last name. In the Zeke voice, she knows what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> put, the little, put the little heart on 100%. On your case, 65. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> A lot of red marks. <laughs> <laughs> right, Zeke? <laughs> yeah, I was doing good in our class. I was paying attention. <laughs> That's crazy. When you were in high school, man, or, or like junior high, Man, you be looking at it, especially if you had a crush. Jump on it, boy. Man, how do you get caught? I wouldn't have got caught. No. They telling it. Well, I probably would have told my friend. Probably, probably hey, let me. Do you remember the first time you bust a nut? I don't mean fucking. I'm talking about like the first time you bust a, bust a nut. That's a wet That's, thing. Me fun. too. Yeah, as a fuck, I remember the fucking wet dream. <laughs> I remember the I remember the wet dream. I don't remember the dream though. Huh? I don't remember the wet dream, man. I remember the dream, bro. Like it was. And funny thing about it, it had it was nothing sexual. Like you know what I'm saying? I remember like I was just rubbing up against some shit in my dream. <laughs> and then and then the shit just started pumping, and I wake up like, oh shit. Hey, it was, hey, down, it was be, all downhill from there. Yo, you be embarrassed as fuck. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> <He's> like, <laughs> hey, hey, but you not, oh, like, not only oh, you like, years old, I'm beating myself. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Hey, but look, not only are you embarrassed, you're ashamed. What the fuck? What the fuck am I? What the <laughs> fuck is wrong with me? What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> Throw the drawers in the garbage. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, so look. After that, I started fucking my mattresses, dog. I put, hey, yo. So look, I put. Yo, tell me. Yo, I know y'all niggas relate. I can't be the only one. I know y'all niggas relate, man. So look. I put my joint between the box and the mattress spring. I was fucking between the mattress. 
and, and my old man, he came in one day. He was like, no, 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 no. He was like, he was like, he was like, Joe, what are you doing? <laughs> he couldn't tell what I was doing because the light was off, though. He just knew I was making some noise. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I'm looking for something in between my mattress. <laughs> hey, but look. <laughs> but look, but check this out. So, all right. So I'm like 12, 13, right? So this became a routine. So I moved out. We moved from that apart from that house. We moved to an apartment at, when I was like like uh, 15. So we had to move the mattresses out. Dude, there was so many. There was so many fucking stains on that mattress. Yo, and my mom, she never stayed. Never said nothing though. But it was a look of disgust when they were. <laughs> the shit, I can't even explain it, dog. Like, she was wild, man. She crazy, I ask, dude. Like, what did you, you say? But I never. I, I, I got it. Yo, I just bust off and, and lay that shit. Like, and pull my joint from between the mattresses and lay down, go to sleep, yo. <laughs> Fucking sticky drawers, all that shit, man. So, what did you have? You, what did you have during then? And then I'd have no, then I'd have nothing. I'm fucking 12, 13. I'm a kid. You know, I don't need I, there wasn't nothing. Matter of fact, I take that back. There was a there was a fucking hustler magazine that niggas was passing around back in like third grade that I still remember. <laughs> what's, the, what's the old um what's the old uh uh uh, uh talk show host? Uh she died. She died uh she she had the she had the she had the the um the, the raspy voice, not Sally Jesse Raphael. Um, yeah, uh, Ruth, Joan, uh, Joan, 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 Rivers. Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. She was in fucking Hustler one time, oh, and she wow. did. She, no you bad. could Google it. She was in Hustler, man. My man's had it, and that shit was engraved in my mind, dog. That's when they the Bush was was favorable back then. Like she had the. <laughs> She had the, the, the bush and shit, man. I, I used to beat off to that. The memory of that shit. The memory. Wow. I'm trying to think. We, we, trying to think. Man, of. women, this is who this is who we are. <laughs> this is a, it's a <laughs> this is a open. This is this is, this is a lesson to y'all. You you uh, you understand us. Uh, us portal man. to our souls. Who was the actress that you? Who fond of as a kid? As a kid, I'm trying to think. I know Holly Berry when she first. Oh yeah, Holly Berry was up there. Yeah. I definitely was like, um, but that's an obvious. I'm trying right, to think. yeah. I'm trying to think. I mean, what do you mean by kid? Because oh, Holly Berry, I was like, I was uh, high on Stacy Dash. Back hell yeah, Stacy Dash. Hell yeah, Stacy Dash was the one. Um, took from, uh, Um, you couldn't tell me nothing bad about Stacey. That's why her her turn later in life really disappointed me. Cindy Crawford, Joe. Ooh, Cindy Crawford, dude. I used to man. Let me get that clean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stacey, Stacey Dash was uh, in uh, this movie called Illegal in Blue. She had a sex scene in there. I was like, yeah. Legal and blue, oh man! Legal and blue. <laughs> I used to call my guy, yo, and hey, yo, illegal and blue on HBO. <laughs> <laughs> yo, my yo. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, mine was mine was Alicia Silverstone. Uh, I don't know, if y'all remember Alicia Silverstone? Yeah. yeah. Man, white bitch. Uh, the uh, the other one was um uh, uh from Saved by the Bell. Um. The oh, sis, Lark Gordy. Oh yeah, Lark Gordy. Yeah, hell yeah, man. Nah, she was. I like Black girlfriend too, man. But mainly, I like uh, what you call it. Uh, Freeze was cool. That's it. Yeah, I, I like. I mean, she, she didn't. She was okay. I mean, she didn't do it for me like Cindy Crawford. Oh, <laughs> Cindy Crawford. <laughs> Crawford was a supermodel. Yeah, yeah I saw her. I was like, God, please. Yeah. Um, but in that range, you looking at Lark Boris or um... Alicia Silverstone, man. That was my bitch. <laughs> Woo! 
trying to think of somebody else. Let me rip my shit off. Oh, I already told y'all. Uh, 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 in the old pop. Dude, I used to get off on Blanche. On Golden Girl. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Blanche. Dude, Blanche. Yeah, Blanche. Uh, man, Blanche was hot as fuck as a kid, man. She was old, but I don't know what it was. She, she yeah, had, had a video, man. I had yeah, a thing for milk with big titties, dog. I had a thing for older chicks with big titties, man. For real, for real. No, I blanched. I, I can dig it. <laughs> blanched blanched was the shit, man. I was like seven or eight. I was like, dang. Oh, she was the, the better looking one out of the trio. Blanche? Yeah. Man, I mean, obviously, when she gets 85, you, you know. But I'm talking about when she was in Golden Girls. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, hey, don't forget about old girl from uh, Three's Company. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not Janet, the ditzy blonde. Uh, I forgot her name. Uh, the ditzy blonde chick. Uh, oh, my God. Cindy? Cindy. Yeah, woo-wee. Rock. <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> this is Tris. <laughs> Hey man, these are some nasty motherfuckers, man. This is who we are. That's what we are, man, for real. Chicks do the same, man. When they was, you know what I'm saying? They they fiddle. Hmm? That shit. Pop, 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 pop. They be popping that shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, these niggas. As a, as a T, as a young, you know what I'm saying, pubescent. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, you explore you? yourself. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I remember, like, when days when you have to be like, man, at first when you, like, that year, like, when you didn't have to take a bath every night to, like, you had to take a <laughs> shower every night. Oh, uh, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Shit. I'm musty to the motherfucker. <laughs> hey, hey, I was about to say, you remember the first time you was musty? <laughs> Yo, oh, you just called me out. It. Like, gee, I'm bogus, yo. Man, hey. think, think about what we went through. Everything we just explained to to get our what and what our kids don't have. They gonna have fucking virtual reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. damn. <laughs> Woo! Dance set, see the chick. Yeah, I'm looking technology. at technology. The fuzzy pay-per-view channel. Exactly. <laughs> I'm looking at fucking uncut. Hey, remember twisting that shit? Remember twisting that shit? Every once in a while, you get a clear picture. Like, oh, <laughs> shit. The audio was there, though. That was enough. Yeah. <laughs> that or, or that soft porn anime. That shit was crazy, too. <laughs> that oh, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, the late night showtime, the red, red shoe diary. <laughs> 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 hey, that was with uh, that was that was with David Duchovny. Oh boy, yeah, the yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, real, real sex would have some weird shit on there. Yeah, sometime. really. Yeah, that was weird. Real sex. I saw one where they had one dudes that like getting bad. A class with dudes that like getting fucked <laughs> by by they. Like they girlfriends was coming with them with dildos and yeah, that's like something that would be on there. It was a class though, like, like yo. They they had to share with the world, share their kink. <laughs> right, that's what it, that was kink. That was the whole thing. Yeah. Oh uh, shit! Fucking even yeah, the yeah. music we used to see um, Akinelli fucking uh, uh um album covers. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, you should be like, dang. Like, and I'm a too kid. Too? Well, too loud. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Too loud. Too bad. Uh, that was Outkast, too. Outkast had a naked chick on every CD. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. Bad times. <laughs> Midnight Marauders. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Bad times. Yeah, <laughs> duh. Going through it. Man, the shorties, man, that shit is wild, B. Man, dude, I wouldn't trade that. Dude, the crazy part is that you want to grow up, but in real life, man, you don't want to grow up, man. That shit you don't want to grow up, man. That shit was yeah. fun as hell, man. Shit was like Wonder Years, for real. I used to download porn on fucking uh, LimeWire <laughs> and Kazaa. <laughs> Let that Damn. shit happen. 
October 9th because the internet was so slow back then. Right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to set these up. We'll come back in the morning. <laughs> I'm good. Right. I'm good. Man. Let's go. <laughs> you come back in the morning to your download fail. Like, damn. damn I got to wait a whole other night. <laughs> <laughs> no, that shit is crazy, though. I mean, what about porn? When did y'all start purchasing porn? Purchasing? How did you get your porn? Like, you go to the to the bootleggers, or did you go to I the, the, the... Wow, yeah. yeah. Okay. I, bootleggers. Getting, getting bang bust off of the <laughs> Y'all was on CDs? Y'all was bootlegging oh, off CDs? Oh, 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 DVD? Oh, the DVDs. Oh, yeah, 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 yep. Yep. Yeah, the, the barbershop had the DVDs. They had them like like two for two for five, for real, <laughs> for real. The two for five. Oh uh, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Uh, see, I go a little, I go back a little further in that. I remember they was bootlegging actual v VHS tapes. They're coming in there and they have it written on there, the, the title of it. You know what I'm saying? Biloxi I'm, blind. <laughs> <laughs> Only real. I remember one time I had I had it. Me and my mom used to share the VCR, and I left the blue tape. I left the fucking blue tape. It was the blue fucking tape. It was like all bitches from Brazil, man. And I fucking left it in there. And my mom came in the room. She threw the VCR on the bed. She was like, "Here, you can have this filth." I was like, ah. <laughs> I mean, I was fucking nervous out my fucking mind. Like, damn. It was like I was out, like you know what I'm saying. She know how I get out, you know what I'm saying. I think I was like 19, 20 at the time. Like fuck, it's time for me to move. <laughs> <laughs> was, I think I move like I move like the next year. What, what was the? Do you remember? Do y'all remember the first like CD tape or whatever that your your parents saw you and it was Corona advisory and it was bad and it was like man you listen like you know what I'm saying like you shouldn't be listening to this. You know what I'm saying? I definitely friend? remember mine. What? It was the blueprint by KRS-One. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, man. My old man, he was like, like he actually liked some of the shit, but, it, it, but you know what I'm saying? KRS, that was when he was just turning from the criminal minded stage to the like his, his knowledge of self shit. So it wasn't that much cursing, but he'd curse every once in a while. My dad would be like, hey, 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 watch all that cursing now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh well my I had an older brother so I was listening to a lot of his stuff. I remember I do remember trying to get uh Prodigy C D. That That's the a, worst? That, it was, but what that was can I see? That was like before I had my own money, so I had to yo hey yo dad buy this. Uh, <laughs> and my mom looked at it, saw that front. Hey, put that back. I'm like, damn, I can't even listen to this. <laughs> Man, I can't right. listen to my money, I'm buy everything. <laughs> On the real. Well, well, like you, right? Before that too, though, but yeah, I think it was uh, niggas for life. Oh, my cousin had they that. Had, they heard that shit. And they was like, because you know what I'm saying. When you heard, like, as a kid, you had suck my dick, and you're like, yo. <laughs> you said what? My older cousin had that on tape, so I was listening to his when I go to his house. You know what? Hey, you know go ahead, go ahead, Joe. Nah, we're really good. What's crazy is is like when you when you a kid <clears throat> so when you a kid you know that like Ice Cube and Easy they all from from Compton and all that. Mm -hmm. So like as a kid when you travel to these cities, you're like, Man, it's really that bad out here. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Where's it WA? Like I used to be looking for them like as a kid and I'm I'm a young and I'm like, Man, where are these guys? Like, are they gonna come around the corner and it's oh, real. You know, <laughs> yeah, like this is what really be life. This can't be life. You know, what I'm saying? can't be life. <laughs> I used to do. I used to look at they. I used to look at MC rappers. I used to look at they fucking album covers and like, and be like, man, if I go to their city, man, this shit look hard. Like, this look like a rough life. This is oh, like I, de hell. I definitely didn't want to go to Compton. Yeah, I'm like, hell. this is hell. You know what I'm saying? NWA, Boys in the Hood. I, yeah, I, I do. I saw over. Boys in the Hood. I'm like, dude, I, I don't want to go to LA, man. <laughs> it seems so dangerous. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? On the real, man. I, it's, for me, like, I remember, like, getting in a vehement argument with one of my friends, man. Like, I thought every rapper was from New York. 
I bought Compton was like a, a, like a borough in New York or some shit, man. I bought everybody was from New York, man. Swear to God. You know who's underrated when you said like nasty rappers? Fucking AMG, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Vertical, Vertical Joyride is one of the dopest beats of all time to me, man. On the real. Yeah, I don't, I don't think anyone was going to argue about Vertical Joyride. Do the right thing. Eat the peach. <laughs> AMG. <laughs> yeah, yeah. AMG is always on some pimp, fuck, yeah. fucking a hooker type shit. No Oakland, Oakland shit. I think his, I think his yeah, album yeah. of his crotch on it, like the zipper or something, yeah. a girl yeah, yeah. Like pants or something like that. On the real, <clears throat> nasty rap. Good old nasty. Rap. Good old nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Good old nasty rap, man. <laughs> well, well, speaking speaking of uh, Oakland. The Warriors are uh, eleven and one in the NBA. Not something you I could have predicted. <laughs> you would told me before the season they're gonna be eleven and one, no right. clay. Why not? Man? The best team in the NBA right now. They have had the third easiest schedule, but eleven still, and one is still eleven good. and one is still good. <laughs> yeah, uh, on the real. What is your first of all? I meant to ask y'all this. And in fact, I did ask y'all this, and, and I never got y'all answer. So remember, I told you it was the uh, the four things that you can have as a basketball player, and one of them was forty five inch vert, play ten, get a ten day ten day contract, get shoes for 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 the year, for forever for life, handles like Kyrie. Jumper like Steph. So which you can only pick one? Nah, they said two. Oh, two attributes? Yeah, it was two attributes you could pick. Give me fucking handles like Steph and uh and the forty five and forty five inch vert. No, no, no. Uh, jumper like Steph and the uh, and uh and the forty five inch vert. Oh, and, oh, my bad. And then, and another one was grow. You can uh, add four inches to your height. I got the I got the uh, IG right here. All right. Just never get injured again. Four inches to your height. Ten day NBA contract. Kyrie's handles. Lifetime supply of shoes. Kawhi's defense. Steph Curry range. And forty inch vert. And I pick uh, four inches to my height and Steph's range. And Joe, you pick forty inch vert and Steph range, right? What do I pick? You pick forty uh, inch vert. Uh, what did you pick four inches to the height? Forty inch vert. I'm taking forty inch vert. I don't think you answered. <laughs> forty inch vert, and I'm taking. Four inches to the height, because then I'll be six two. You'll take the the height increase and the vert. Height increase and vert. You're gonna get eyes open with my athleticism. Man, I can the, add the the vert and add something else. It's regular niggas with that. With forty inch vert, but they don't have the work. I, I'm a, I'm gonna bring the work ethic with the, the torch. But if you got the torch too. Yeah. What? yeah, but you need that. You, you, you definitely need athleticism. That's what I'm saying. Give me the 40 inch Burton and Steph's torch. Boy, ain't nobody, ain't no coach about to look past that. That nigga lighting niggas up, dunking on niggas. And if you dunking on niggas, chances are you got the athleticism to play defense. Question: yeah. 40 inch. You said 40 inch Burton Steph's range. Yeah. Wait. 40 inch, yeah, right. So you got 40 inch vert, Steph's range right now. Mm -hmm. You can go to a G League open run and make it. Hell yeah. <laughs> Steph's, I mean, Steph's range, like, meaning like, his, I mean, it's accuracy too, right? That's, in, that's included oh, in his range. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm talking about right now at your age. Oh man, you, now you're gonna put it in. Now you're pushing it. Hey, that's pushing well, it. Right. If he got that right now. Would he get noticed? He got what? If oh. he had it right now, would he get noticed if he went to an open run? 
Yes. Oh, you, still have, you still have to get noticed, right? Yeah. But Ain't nobody know. gonna. As soon as they see the gray hair on my beard, they're gonna be like, "Ah, he's nice, but uh, he's That's probably gonna right. get injured." He's probably gonna get injured. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, let's get that. So, uh, he used to be the Mike James. <laughs> Why you disrespecting Mike James? <laughs> Mike James? No, Mike James is nice. I'm just saying he played till he's like my age. Shit. <laughs> it's a lot of players that play to your age. He probably still in the league. No, I'm disrespectful, man. That's a I'm not disrespecting him. That's a credit to him. Is it? Yeah. Shit, I'd rather be shit. I'm, look what I do. Look what he do at 44. I said, I get, <laughs> I get with props. You soil mattresses after this <laughs> Nope, I'm on a strike. <laughs> Nigga said two days. Shout out to Mike James. Come Shout on, out to Mike James. But I'm drinking. It might change. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you what do you think about the NBA thus far? Like anybody opening your eyes up? Well, hey, I'm last pod we talked about Cleveland. I watched um I watched them beat Boston last night. Hey, you right. Cleveland yeah. ain't that ain't no just fluke. Man. Cleveland's nice, bro. Darius Garland came back, putting in work. But I, I like that that lineup with Evan Mobley, uh, with Mobley and um, my fucking uh, who the other guard they got? Uh, not Darius, not Garland, Sexton. <clears throat> but shit, but Darius Garland came in putting in work. I was like, Sexton. nah, this ain't he gone ain't no year. bullshit, huh? Sexton gone for the year, probably. When did he go out? Mm. I saw he didn't play last game. When did yeah, he he out? in a week. Yeah, and a week. I don't think it's nah, they, was a mis- menis- Anyway, he's gonna be out for a minute. Yeah. Nah, they the real deal though. Yeah, told you. Yep. Told you. Yeah, uh, hooping, hooping is, is. Yeah, Cleveland, they, they nice, and they got uh Josh Allen. And they fun to watch. At the end of the day, they fun to watch. Like you know what I'm today, saying? Josh Allen, um, Jared Allen. <laughs> yeah, Jared Allen. Jared, I'm in football mode. Jared Allen. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, the Warriors. So is, Warriors are a shock to me, man. They ain't got Wiseman or Clay. <clears throat> I know Stephen A. Been, been claiming for a while they're gonna win the championship. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I a hey, if Kyrie, if if Kyrie, trash, Kyrie is, go ahead. I was saying if the Lakers keep keep playing trash, they they might be able to take the West. They keep playing like this. I'm not a I'm not sold on the Lakers, dog. Like. I mean, uh, it's I a hodgepodge of, of of names to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see the. I just don't see the chemistry. It looks a lot like uh, that that calf scene with D Rose and D Wade, and um, when they had all those those just just ransack of uh, random players of of names. Remember? And then at the and then they traded them all at the at the All Star break you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. the trade deadline. This reminds me a lot of that team. Like I see a bunch of names, you know what I'm saying? But <clears throat> Bill Simmons is Westbrook. Say it Westbrook. again. Bill Simmons, he always says Westbrook. He not a say he's not a winning player. He said you can't convince him that Westbrook is a winning player. When it's when it's on the line for four series in the playoffs, he said Westbrook ain't gonna be able to get you through it. What has he done to prove to say otherwise? Right, that's what he bring up. <laughs> I mean, I love Westbrook, man, but I'm just like, man, like this point, like shit. You know what I'm saying? What do you, you know what I'm saying? You still making bad decisions and you still bad have this like, six, seven turnover games. Bad decisions in crucial moments. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I just want to say real quick, because I got a real question for both of y'all. Mm. The Bulls are looking good. Minus the hat. Don't worry about this hat. Bulls are looking good. I'm a true Bulls fan. All right. So my question to you, Joe, is I've been seeing this. And Zeke. Prime Larry Bird versus Prime KD. Who are you taking? KD all day. Okay. Thank you. And that's no disrespect to Bird. Yeah, no, no, no. Okay. Katie's an evolution of his bird, so. Yeah. 
KD KD is a KD is a pass bird, right? Do you agree? I mean, if I, you know what, you know what fucking KD would do to Larry Bird? Yeah, I know, I know. No, 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 no. I agree. I totally agree. I was just asking, getting your opinion. You know, you know what I'm saying? I thought, I thought you was going to say Bird for some reason. <laughs> Man, <laughs> uh, I, I love my old school, but I'm a realist too, shit. Shit. All right. Good old NBA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, Bulls are looking good, though, seriously. Even yeah. though you're not Bulls, man. You got to get Vooch back. Get well, Vooch. What are you? What fan are you? You're not a Bulls fan, but what are you? Las Vegas Aces fan. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an NBA fan, man. <laughs> I'm an NBA fan, real talk. Like I told you, bro, I changed it all. The Bulls uh, Cleveland series changed everything for me, man. Which one? Um, I would say probably the the 2011-2012 campaign. Oh, oh, oh the, the the three in the corner. No, nah, did that? No, nah, that was that was injured D Rose. I'm talking about pre injured D Rose. Oh. <clears throat> I'm talking like when they was having the battles. Like I was fucking, I hated the Heat. No, I hated Cleveland. And then when he went to the Heat, I I, I hated the Heat. But then I was like, there's a little bit of greatness I'm seeing out of Braun. Like shit, you know what I'm saying? Do I really want to hate this nigga? So when they're great, you got to ride dick. I wouldn't call it ride dick, but shit, I like watching great basketball. Like I like I, you know what I'm saying? Like. I, it's put it this way. It's not being personal with me. Like, I hated LeBron James. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because the the rivalry, I was that much of a Bulls fan. It, it, it just stopped becoming personal with me. Like, I, could, I love watching. Now, I was like, well, back then, I loved watching, like, Bron and, and D. Rose and um, who was popping back then? Uh, D. Wade and, and, and that era. Kobe. You know what I'm saying? And then, it, you know what I'm saying, there wasn't so much bulls anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying, it became like, shit, I just love the game. You know what I'm saying? I hated LeBron when he went to the Heat. Because he was supposed to come. They were saying he's going to come here, and he went to the Heat. He went to the Heat. I was like, I'm not rooting for this dude. The whole time he was with the Heat, I was anti you actually, you actually thought he was about he was going to sign with the, with the Bulls? You didn't you believe that farce? That's what the rumor was. They, they, they confirmed oh. it, too. They did. I said they was thinking about coming here. Man, I never <laughs> thought for a second he was coming here. I know, Miami. Like, I kind of see why they, yeah. Yo, I remember when uh, uh, when Benny the Bull was greeting T-Mac. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, that was, and that was a farce. Yep. Yeah, that, that, was a, that was a farce, too. Like, like niggas was just coming here. They was using us. As leverage to update offers. We were supposed, we supposed to get Kobe. We were real close to getting Kobe. They didn't want to put Luau out there. Luau fucking dang. Dang away from Kobe? Real talk. Huh? Real talk. We Luau Ding away from Kobe. Kobe, Kobe wanted the Bulls to keep dang. He didn't want to come over here with nothing. Come on over here with nothing. <laughs> oh, he want them to keep dang. Yep. But Ding yep. had to be part of the package. But he wanted Ding. And that's why I fell to. We the bull, Kobe would have been a bull. Like he said, oh, yeah. he was looking at Chicago homes. He was he was here. Like he was like, man, I'm ready. I go. Do you know, know the legacy that would have been? It would have been at the Lakers, except it would have been the Bulls. Because you had <laughs> Kobe, you had Jordan, and then you had Kobe, and then that would have resonated. It would have went across. That's the final was, destination shit. Because he chances are, if he would have, he probably would never got on that helicopter. Like you never oh, know how to. That's why I was just. Ah, I'm, I I know that. That. I'm just saying the routes of life, the routes, oh. the routes. You never know, man. Hey, that's uh, yes. Yeah, uh, what's that movie? Uh, final, 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 final destination. Butterfly effect. Butterfly effect with well, Ashton Kutcher. I like that shit too. Yeah, yeah. Dang. I don't want to say it. It's uh, too sad. R.I.P. Kobe. Speaking of Kobe, the NBA players talking about how hard it is to get to rock Kobe's now. It's hard for you to get the su- sneakers. The supply is drying up. Yeah. 
So who was it? Let me see. Let me ask y'all this. Like, like y'all sneakerheads, man. So was it, was it uh, Wifey or was it his estate? When they say his estate parted ways with Nike, well, what does that really mean? Like, estate. It's, it's everyone, his brand. Yeah. His brand, okay. I got you. His brand. So are they ever going to make Kobe's, release Kobe's again? They I do. would think they would have to. If they do, they're going to be at a high price. Like, remember, before his debut, you get Kobe's for like 80 bucks. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, they dude, was out there. They was out. Now you can't get that shit. Yeah, bro. everything drying up now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, yeah. Keep my two pair that I got forever, then. <laughs> I was the Kobe uh, sneaker head. Yeah, I wasn't really. There was a few that was that was nice, but they'd always sell out in my size. Yeah, I wasn't a Kobe uh, sneaker head. Good old Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> so let me <laughs> let me ask y'all this. So 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 who are y'all watching in, like in the league right now? Like, all right, Golden State is. In the- even though they they have some unexpected success, it's still go to state. Like who are you who are you looking at now? Who's uh, kind of a pleasant surprise to you? Other than the Bulls and shit. Other than uh, the Bulls. Okay, see, they beat the Lakers twice. Unbelievable, right? Yeah, and in the same know. fashion, they had the Lakers right, had big leads. I like Shane uh, Gip, just Alexander, uh, Josh Giddy. They got- mm. yeah. I would say besides the Bulls. Uh, you know what? As much as I, I don't like them and they're a rival, I don't like like the Heat are really good. Yeah, Miami, they're really good. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Before we, I talk about that. What do you think about the uh, Joker uh, Morris uh, beef? I don't think this, I don't think the Morris is one no smoke. <laughs> I don't think that Joker was wrong. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't wrong. He wasn't wrong at all. <clears throat> you hit me in the ribs in a in a compromising position like that, like you could have you could have really hurt me, bro. I knocked your goof ass down. <laughs> I have no problem with what Joker did. He he didn't even bring the smoke. Like he was just bringing the ball up and y'all. You could just like foul me. Right, right. Go to him, hey, grab him. Hey, hey, you know the brothers. And you know the brothers they bought tickets to the to the uh to the next game. Oh, to the, yeah. um, no they already point. bought t- no, hey, no, yeah. They they gonna show them on the camera though. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't think the Morrison brothers will smoke. Nah. Nah. Them ain't no little dudes, B. And one of them do MMA wrestling, one of the brothers, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. Right, go ahead. Yeah. Hell yeah. One of them is the actual MMA wrestler. Right. Yeah. Why is the why are the Morris brothers regarded as like so tough though? Like I don't. I don't I mean, think they, I'm getting to a fight on court. I what mean, they, they they with the scuffle. They they're, they're quick to kick up dust and they get in a couple scuffles. You know, what I'm saying? play tough. That's all it is. Though? That's just like uh, what's the oh, what's that? Uh, uh, a black belt or some shit. James, oh, James, yeah. Everybody's scared of him for some reason. He ain't jumping nothing on the court. Hey, from from what I hear, niggas was scared of Kendall. Kendall Gill. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, I heard about that too. He's supposed well, he to be like a, a black belt or some shit. Wow. I didn't know about that. Yep, Kendall Gill, he an MMA, he a black belt, like he a kickboxer. He in the MMA too? I don't, but he he like kickboxing and all that. Did he kick? Anybody? I know. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I, like I say, I don't think they want to smoke, man. Would you over there make scampi? <laughs> What'd you say? Would you over there make it shrimp scampi? <laughs> nah, man. Steak? Nah, man, yo, I've been drinking a lot, man. Nigga going through it with the, with the, with the BM and shit, man. Yeah, Black yeah, man yeah. plight. Trying to hold us down, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, man, shit. Hey, what you call? I got, uh, on the, what's, the, what's the latest on the music tip, man? What y'all been fucking with? Anything new? 
Nope. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, nah, man. We, I, I personally don't listen to artists for like a month and straight. Man. man, I've been going hard on this Ransom and Rome Streets collab, man. That coup de grace, man. That's for the backpackers, the b boys, man. The, the, the real heads, man. Um, get that. I was looking for the for the download link. I couldn't find one. I guess I gotta buy it. <laughs> man, that shit's so raw, man. I'm talking like. Like from a, I was I would as gritty I would say as gritty as ill it's like gritty poetry as as gritty as fucking illmatic it's dark like mob deep um and but it's relevant it ain't you know what I'm saying it's still like Griselda it's like that feel like yeah, yeah I heard I heard a couple of tracks off of it it was nice too on the real man yeah, R- ran some on it yeah he making a he making a run now. He on a tip. He <laughs> been in the game for a minute. He just now oh, yeah. like not getting his, his props. But he he a yeah, vet. Yeah. That shit with game so crazy. What? Well, I'm speaking to uh, Griselda. Benny Benny signed with Def Jam. Mm-hmm. On the Snoop Dogg imprint, right? Snoop Dogg. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know. I know Def Jam. Snoop made an announcement. He signed. He he signed. Uh, uh, Benny the Butcher, but he's under Dev Jam. Oh, I know that. They didn't do a Snoop. <clears throat> That's how I heard about it. Snoop, he said it out of his own mouth. So what, Snoop is Dev Jam? Snoop got a label that's under Dev Jam. Oh, I didn't know that. Hell uh, yeah. That makes it even weirder. Very weird. I figured Benny would stay independent. He don't really need Def Jam. <laughs> he don't. He got a following. Yeah, he got a, he got a core audience. I mean, they probably came. I'm pretty sure they came with the bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh yeah. The yeah. fact that he got a core audience and he come on, man, his leverage is crazy. Def Jam came with the bag, and he got Jay Z in his back pocket. Yeah. All right. He a, he a paper planes guy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To make him leave his independent status with make yeah, him with the back. The most extravagant amount of money he could. He had to. Mm-hmm. Cause he, he's like, yo, I don't have to I don't need y'all. <laughs> you right. Now you gotta give me fifty million dollars if you want me to sign. Okay. Oh, so you gotta give him Kanye Beans money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he took, but Nah, I know. I mean, Griselda's been there the following. Yeah, his merch. His, he definitely got some of our money from his merch. Mm-hmm. His I like merch the fact. That, no, go ahead. I was just saying I like the fact that they laying low right now. Like you can tell, I know they cooking. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, had, I think I was uh, succumbing to some uh, Griselda overload for a little for a little bit. Well, gun is done. He retired. Yeah, and you're making man, right. <laughs> Man, that's what he said. How long you been saying? He put out like six albums since he said that, man. Since he first said that. <laughs> Who's the last one? Hmm? The, what's the most recent one he dropped? Uh, uh, I can't remember the name. Uh, Hitler, uh, Hermes, Hermes yeah. 8. Or whatever. Boy, he said that's it. After the that, B-side. He said that after the, the first one. Then he made a B-side to it. And it was two parts. I think it was always supposed to be two parts. I mean, put it this way. I believe it when he when I see it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Yeah, I think he did. You know, yo man, I can't leave y'all, man. I gotta I gotta <laughs> suck up some. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. I do de- I definitely would bet on him putting out some some project. Yeah. Eventually. You know, I don't right. Think yeah. In some form of fashion, he's gonna still yeah, be in that man. booth. Whether it's him and Conway with the, the Hall and Nash or something solo. He ain't gonna right. make it. Again. Y'all ain't check out that Big Sean and Hit Boy? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. Even though I'm a yeah. Hit Boy, no, I didn't check it out. Y'all are Big Sean fans. I am, man, but this, I, I what think, is I think. What is that? That this John, you're a Big, John, Big Sean fan, right? I am, and rightfully so, but I think this one, he. You know what I'm saying? This one sounded lazy. Mm. 
Rightfully, this one sounded, rightfully so means like, how dare you not be a big guy? <laughs> right? Exactly. Like that man, that man got hits on this belt. Shit, I actually like, and he got bars. Ass ass, ass you well, definitely he does like. have hits. And he got bars. He he got witty word. He got funny wordplay and shit. So he's he's in your top five. <laughs> word. Conway is in my top five. Big stupid. Conway the Machine isn't in my top five. You think Big Shot is? <laughs> oh, <laughs> and geez. you know Conway got bar. So is Big Shot in your top 50 of all time? Uh, that would take much. Uh, now I can't answer that. There's no possible way I can answer that right now. I have to put deep thought in there. Like. Is Big Shot in your top 10 in the last 20 years? New artists. He is a new, a new artist. In 20, 20 years. That's fun. Because you've been around for a minute. You've been listening to KRS. We just heard you say you beat your meat to uh, some, no, to a fucking um, AMG. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> to right, album. right, right, right. I'm saying hey, like right. that. That's a big shot. Well. Um, in the last 20 years, uh, I have to put some thought in it. I can't answer that, man. You got the name 50 rappers better than Big Shot. I think y'all like Big Shot. It's okay. Top 100, he might be in there. Wow. I don't know if I can. Is Wyclef better than Big Shot? Prize is better than Big Shot. Oh, you bugging. I'm I'm done. You can be done. You can be done. Big Shot is. Dude. Dark Sky Paradise, that's his best album. Agreed. Jeezy, Wayne, man. Is he better than Big Sean? Of course he is. Oh, okay. Come on, man. <laughs> Just making sure. Just making sure. Of course he is. Making sure. Naming 50 that's better is might be kind of tough. Is Project Pat better than Big Sean? That holds. Yeah. Come on, man. Come on. I mean... Okay. I mean, it's like, what are we talking about here? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because like I say, I, it's I mean, that... <laughs> oh, okay. Is Jay Z better than Big Sean? Not, whoa, I went Come to on. See, that, that. That's the level. Jay Z of the South. No, he's not. He's not the Jay Z of the South. He close. I thought T.I. was the Jay Z of the South. He up there. Right. At one time. He was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, name come next next pod come with a list of fifty. I can easily come with fifty. Yeah, we're not gonna do it right Consequence now. Consequence is better than Big Sean. Oh uh, hey, look, man. Hey, yo, sports like now. <laughs> All the real boy. I come with fifty. Oh, Consequence is better than Big Sean. I said he is. Hell no. Wow, Joe said no. I think Consequence. Consequence bar wise. Yeah. Bar Consequence is one. Yeah. Consequence is one dimensional. Oh, he just don't have. He just don't, don't have, have the machine. Albums. He don't have the consequences. Album. Consequences are saying I put him with Talib Kweli. They're one no, dimensional. Talib, Talib. Huh? Talib not better than Big Sean. Great. No, he's not better than Big Sean. Wait, what? Lyrical, <laughs> lyrical, miracle, spiritual, lyrical, lyrical, miracle, miracle. Man, I hate Talib, man. Better than Talib, dude. Just because you put big words together doesn't make you lyrical. Just because you put big words, just because you put big words and you pro black, that doesn't make you. You can still, you can be, you can still be whack and be and be lyrical. You can still. is better than Talib. Talib, I hate Talib Kweli, man. Except for, except for his hits, like, and that's because of the beat, the production, like Kanye shit. The Just Blaze shit. Yeah, I fuck with Talib, but I, man, I don't like Talib, man. He's a yeah, fucking like nerd. Hmm? Him tech? Say it again? You didn't like Talib and High Tech album? Reflection Eternal? Yeah, he has some shit on there. Yeah, he has some shit on there. And most death, him and most death, that's better than Big Sean's whole career. Hell no. I, pa- I fast forward to most death. Every fucking track, I fast forward the most deaf part. <laughs> Every fucking track. I, I, why the fuck are you rapping? Get to most deaf. Oh, man. The Talib ain't that bad. Respiration for life. 
Common and most deaf. Where the fuck was it? Where, where the fuck does Talib fit in in that shit? Anytime I run up, he, he always, he just say to, I don't like, I mean, I'm not a Talib fan, man. You know what I'm saying? I, wow. I, 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 he's stereotypical. To me, he's stereotypical. I'm a backpack nigga, and he like, right. he's stereo, like but he's stereotypical. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Bookworm that reads glasses and he raps like it. Like, most of is a bookworm. And he, he, you know what I'm saying? That, but he's dope. He's missing. Talib is missing dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can rap. He has a skill. But he's just not dope. This so nigga ain't near. This nigga. Than Big Sean. As a whole? Whoa. Yes. Because most deaf is in it. But I said the Black half of, I said Black Thought. You probably thought you said Black Star. No, not Black Star. I thought you said Black Star. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, Black, yeah. No, that's, that's all, no, that's a whole, Black Thought is dope. He is, he can't just rap. He's dope, he's dope, too. I don't don't like a lot of rappers, but Talib, I'm not the biggest Talib fan, but Talib. (laughs) Talib is what? In your opinion, Talib is not, lyrically, is not better than Big Sean. Boring. I hate Talib, dog. I wow. hate. I I can say he, I fucking. I feel, I feel like I'm hearing like a know it all. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just because you use your big fucking words, and like, yo, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Like, where's your dopeness? It's niggas that can't rap half as good as he can as doping to him. It's not personal. Because I've purchased music by Talib, and I've been let down. That's why it's personal. It's personal. Reflection Eternal. Dude, that he got he, he got shit on. Ref- That's his magnum opus. Reflection Eternal is his magnum I opus. I know you 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 like Big Sean some of his stuff, but you can admit, wow. I can wow. admit what? No, uh, no, I was talking to Z. No. Oh. See, you 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 get mighty uh <laughs> mighty mighty brolicky over there. I can't admit what. <laughs> hey, man, I don't want no smoke, man. Hey, Big Sean's no, I a guy. T- I thought you hey, told me I didn't know. No, no, Big Sean's a guy, man. He's, he's, in, he's in your top. The next part, I have a list of 50. I'm saying That's it's going to be pretty hard to do. Who? A lot of them is going to be debatable. Say it again. I didn't hear you. Owen is better than, 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 than Big Sean. Okay. All of Wu Tang is better than Big Sean. That's twelve right there. <laughs> that is 12. That's nine. Man, if we go, if we go to uh, Shah- uh, Ali, Shah- uh, not a uh, uh, fucking uh, oh Shaheen. Shaheen. Yes, he's better. Yeah. First Shaheen. of all, you got you got is not better than Big Sean. Come on, <laughs> all right. Yo, Master Killer. Master yeah. Killer is not yeah, better yeah. than Big Sean. Yes, he Master is, Killer. Man. He Yo. doesn't even rhyme. The best thing Master Killer ever said was the dumb are mostly intrigued by the drum. And, and he didn't even rhyme. Whatever Big Sean has ever said, dude. That's better than ass, ass, ass. Yeah, ass. that's better than ass, ass, ass. Build a house up on that ass. Come, Come ass on, ass dude. Okay, so Nas or Uchi Wally. Nas is just trash because he made one one song that he dumbed it down on. So you Big Sean and Nas? No. I'm saying artists dumb shit down. You can't. I mean, his overall body of work is better than anything. I, not Big Sean to you guys. You know what I'm saying? Big, you guys yeah, have yeah. better than Big Sean's albums. Mm-mm. Yes. No. You got his whole. I seen the video, man. He was walking in slow motion with the wind blowing and up to a Corvette. Dude, <laughs> first of all, y'all said that was that was you guys. Wu Tang got ten MCs better than they forty more. That's easy. I don't know. That's easy. I can definitely. Yeah. Okay. Next part. <laughs> Easily. We'll see y'all next time. Yo, let me send a shout out to uh to uh to to Channel 7's boy, uh one of our favorite subscribers. He's a big time subscriber. Uh Shaw, big time list, uh big time fan of ours. Shaw, shout out to you. Shout out to uh <laughs> shout out to Omar Raps, you know what I'm saying? He's another guy that uh they watch our pod, you know what I'm saying? Appreciate the love. Yeah, we got to get them on the show. 
get on, get Shaw and uh, all, and uh, all my reps. And uh, shout out to our girl Christine that, that's a subscriber. All our fellow subscribers, loyal subscribers, we appreciate it. And uh, it was interesting, man. You're a wild dude, on Channel Seven. <laughs> Found a little wild about ourselves. So yeah, so Channel Seven. You're a wild, <laughs> man, you're a wild guy. Yo. We yeah, all, this, shit is, this, this shit is therapeutic all. for me, man. I love I love getting off when I got to get off, man. Matter oh. of fact, when we get off, I'm about to get off. <laughs> <laughs> wow. As usual, got the usual crew. Got my man Zeke. You got the one and only Ricky Sweet. And I'm Channel 7. Peace. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotta take him off the head. But there's only one, and that's me. You understand? Know Just like we come through, better have your fucking third out. Bad enough, nigga. I don't want nobody to sound like nobody from my clan, man. Keep it real, get your own shit, man. And be a rich You can't imitate me on this fucking tape. You ain't ringing the bell. You ain't. I'm ready when you are.